Welcome back everyone to another episode of Your Daily Dose. Today on the channel, uh, kicking some things off with some PvE. Everyone has to do it, the old glory hall must be done. Um, but one thing I will say is don't sleep on the Saviour's Blessing. Uh, mainly because it seems to come in clutch a lot more than it used to. And that's kind of odd to say, but at the same time, it's like, you know, there's some fancy, fancy things out there, not gonna lie, you know, there are, but at the same time, it's like, the old faithful, the old faithful charm, it removes debuffs, and there's a chance to basically heal you, I mean, look, is it gonna, is it a big heal? Uh, it's, it's alright, look, it's average, it's an average heal, it is going to keep you um, kind of in the fight longer, mainly because of the debuff removals. It is what it is. And I noticed in Trials, um, well, I want to say that it's kind of mandatory for the late game stages. Uh, the main reason is because of, uh, you know, those stupid must have more than like 60% or must not die scenarios. Uh, I've noticed that this has actually come in clutch and to be fair, you probably do want to slot it in for uh, the glory hall as well, mainly just so you can keep your team alive longer so that you can push a little bit further and the rewards are decent. I will say this, they are definitely worthwhile pushing, you will get some boots out of it, you'll get some gold, and of course you'll get some of the Soul Forge Steel, um, and it is kind of hard to get that outside of any other scenario for free, so I would recommend doing that, but I wanted to start the video off with a little bit of PvE action, Warlord account still clearing it strong, the event has ended for this, so I don't know why they've kept the whole thing up there. You can't really do too much. Maybe it's just to spend the rest of that. So if you haven't spent it, make sure you do the spins. We do have the cooking festival. And for those that don't know, this is in fact one of PB's favorite ones. Um, of course, the rule is you must be in a legion. <laughs> if you're not in a legion, it's not going to work for you. There are a lot of missions to do every single day. You will get some vegetables by doing it, um, i.e. some ingredients. They are kind of a little, li uh, I want to say they're obscure. You should be doing them anyway, but the reality is it's like the little bonuses. Um, and to be fair, <sighs> Mount Dungeon pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. If you want to just like trigger this thing, all you do is just go into it and then you go back into it. And then, yeah, basically do that. I would recommend doing the Beast one, though, uh, in normal mode because you do get 120 Wishing Stones, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I have not figured out a way to cheat this system yet. You will all be the first ones to know if I know how to cheat this system. Um, but basically, it isn't going to work. Uh, yeah, it's just annoying. The quickest way is just to search for teams and die. You can't speed the process up. It is very, very lackluster. Now, in terms of the store, of course, we know that the Generation 5 transformations are out. If you do want to spend a little bit of money... These are going to cost you around $300 um, thereabouts, so just be aware that it is cheaper to go through the GT Arcade uh, website and get some additional goodies at the end of each month. But essentially speaking, for most, for, very, for, the, for the tippy top, for the most of you, you probably are just going to be building the ball. Um, I would probably say 99.99% .99 of you will want to be building the bull. Um, if you still haven't built the Phoenix Squad, it is worth investing in. But I do see most players just going there, grabbing the bull shards and finishing off their bull. Um, and the way to do it for free is basically to buy the premium meat. And you will get 50 of those. It's very similar to Arms Race, like I'm not going to lie. There are some cool things here too, of course, that you can get for free. Um, I'm already eyeing off the rest of this so that I can upgrade Dong Zhao's sets. But pretty much this is it. Pick a random one. We'll get some tofu this time. Why not? Let's be healthy. Same thing as Arms Race. You have to use all these currencies um, during the event, i.e. all the ingredients. If you don't use them, they will expire. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then, of course, you make this, and then you get some other cool stuff. We'll cover that in a second. 
But basically, you kind of just be doing this every single day. And it's so it's fun. It's not fun. <laughs> That's a lie. It's easy. Um, and you will get some firecrackers from this too. So as you can see, every time you complete a dish, you can go and collect it. All of your legion mates can collect it. And there are chances to hit some jackpots. Um, I think we've actually, we, we got really good RNG. We seem to be hitting a lot of uh, those ones, which is kind of cool. What do we get? We got firecrackers, we got window decorations, pretty stock standard. Um, and of course, leading into it, there are some additional things too. So discount packs, as far as I know, these are the ones that are readily available to everyone. God's blessing, we'll check that out in a second. But basically for a dollar fifty-nine or a dollar, depending where you are in the world, you kind of just get this free VIP thing. You can give that out to your Legion mates, but you do get five of your premium meats. Um, honestly, that's the best value. Buy the dollar package ones if you want to do that, if you're a low spender. Um, the rest of them kind of increase in terms of price, but in terms of value, let me have a look. I'm pretty sure they start at the $13.99 if God's blessing wants to behave and appear for me. Where is it? We are still doing Li Ling Kui until we replace you for Gon Sun. So we'll do you in a second and then we should be okay. We should be able to get this one. Um, I mean, it'd be rude not to do the behemoth, right? <laughs> Let's just do this while I'm here. You can all suffer with me. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, God's blessing. It did appear. Okay. So for $7.99, I would say this $7.99 pack is better than the one in the shop because you get 25 of the premium meats. Um, but it does jump up in price though if you are going to pay, spend $23. So essentially that is probably 30 of the decorations if I remember correctly. Is it 30 or is it 10? Oh, geez. Now I have to think about this. I'm like pretty sure it's, it's one for one, right? So that's actually not bad. It's one for one. Yes, it's one lantern for one piece of meat. So, I mean, for $23, that's 60 pieces of meat. Plus that, that's like 100. You can go all right with that. Um, another thing, of course, is this, which, well, let's be honest, I feel like most players are just going to be able to figure this one out. But you do get these rewards. You get some uh, veggies and, of course, you get some shards and you get some gold. Uh, this is the other one, which is kind of the quote unquote premium version of it uh as you saw before when i did the pulls for the uh i want to say for the for the big one um you do get these ones so you will be able to open some of these ones up and then you can kind of make it this is like the stock standard one so i feel like what do we want to do there i feel like we want to go like five there and then i feel like we want to go like five there <laughs> it's really just juggling it's juggling definitely worthwhile though because that is a selection chest so if you can make sure you do the premium ones and of course because you get the firecrackers as well that is very very important i guarantee three firecrackers which is pretty sweet but honestly the event in a nutshell is really good and we can talk about the leaderboard in a second but basically this is for the Megalodon legions out there. There needs to be like at least, I want to say, two big spenders and then a couple of little spenders on the server. You probably would need about five to ten um, medium spenders to get to 100,000 points. Uh, but if you do get on the leaderboard, you will get a pretty snazzy title for at least 14 days. Um, and that'll give you an indicator. In 14 days time, the cooking festival will be back. You will get some shards, you will get some gold, and you will get some of these cool little window decorations. But basically, you know, it is what it is. If you're not a spending guild, that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. You can get through just by being uh, awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Just be awesome. Because at the same time, it really, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, I think this event is really just for those that want to grab some of these shards um, certainly worthwhile grabbing some free mythic uh, beast shards. I would probably skip that if you don't have enough of the mythic weapons or anything like that. But to be honest, I feel like at the end of the event, I have all of these and have some left over. And that's with minimal spending, by the way. I probably spend 
I want to say $20 throughout the event and I um, pretty much buy everything here. So what I will do though is I do want to grab as many of these ones out because I will be using those ones. Um, pretty much if you don't know that the, the era of Vanquish is out the door, you really need to be building Imperishable gear set. It is definitely worthwhile grabbing those 40 shards every single time the event is up. Conjunction with the Annihilation event, you will be able to complete your sets pretty much every couple of weeks. Um, this is the other one. You do want to be buying this one, and the reason being is because it is a selection chest. So if you haven't already maxed out your monsters, I recommend doing that. If you haven't maxed out your weapons, you can try to do that. It's not really that important for the weapons, but to be honest, you probably should just be building your index scores anyway. That's that's kind of the guaranteed. Like if you if you look at this event, every other scenario, that's probably the most valuable asset that you can get. Um, arguably, this is the second best one, but let's be honest. I feel like most want to cap this out, and we got 120 of them just by pretty much logging in day one. We got 120, so if anyone doesn't know, that is pretty much a guaranteed 5-star. Well, no, it's a guaranteed legendary hero. <laughs> but for my account, that means I'm probably going to be able to get some heroes up to 4-star um, because we've already finished off the beasts. And last but not least, I mean, look, they gave you like a 20% discount. If you do have some gold and you want to start finishing off your star karmas, this is probably one of the better events to do it because of the discount rate. It's up to you. Um, the other one is word exchange. So at the end of the event, if you have any left over, you can exchange for some of those basic packs. The other one that I would recommend buying is this one for a thousand gold, you get 10 of those. Um, and basically that means that you do get like some guaranteed ones here. So it's cool. It's cool. For a thousand gold, I feel like that's, that's a worthy investment. Let's go ahead and grab three of you. Let's go ahead and grab one of you. Let's go ahead and grab three of you. How many we got left over? We've got seven. Uh, two? My math sucks. Two, two, and two. <laughs> we got enough. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. All right, let's go. Here we go. There we go. We got some three plus three plus three plus three plus three. All right, so I think we got like 12 or... I, we actually got a lot of those. We've only got 16 of the, the firecrackers. So it's easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. It is easy as that. And that Mitch, that pretty much means we're going to finish you off. Um, and then I probably would just grab the rest of these ones so I can work on seven-starring old mate dominant dank stash. And then, of course, go from there. But in terms of the event, very cool event. Um, let me just have a quick... Let me have a quick look at what we need to do i think we should just upgrade you because you keep shining at me um what do i need to do for this account oh i did win oh very nice are we going to go crit for you we're going to get four percent crit because who doesn't want a little bit more crit in the morning um we are going to go over here and i'll open up your transformation box oh i'll take some orbs I'll take some more. So we've got 48 of you and we've got that many of you. So that's 62. 62. 62. Someone say 62. So I know we can get like 25 of you. All right. All right. So 62, 25 of you. If we spend a little bit, we spend a little bit, we should be able to get... Papa Dong Zhao all the way up to um wait, what is that? Let me let me just let me just pull it out so I I know I know what we're working with. Let's just pull this bad boy out. Now I know that that is the, the, the beast selection chest, but don't worry. Don't worry. We we got that covered. We'll be wailing for that event. <laughs> we're gonna be getting the fireball, at least the four star, hopefully. Fingers crossed, at least. But Papa Dong Zhao. So, shard wise, how many do we need? We have two eighty-seven. We only need thirteen. Thirteen is doable. Thirteen is doable. I think that's pretty much, if I remember correctly, that's twenty-five of you plus the five. That's that's a done deal. That's like nine dollars, and we are good to go. 
Actually, it's less because GTRK gives you a dollar voucher. So for like seven ninety nine, I pretty much have Papa Dong Jiao in the bag for seven star. That is going to be amazing. That should boost our power up to probably eleven to twelve billion, a little bit more. Um, but basically, that is it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to say, it has been a pleasure doing the account reviews. I will be doing a wallet account potentially tomorrow, um, just depending on the schedules. Uh, One Day's account is probably close to a trillion power by now, so I do run a play around with Gonsan as well as all the rest of them. Um, but if you want me to showcase any of yours, if you want to do any account reviews, let us know in the comment section down below. Jump into our Discord in the link in the description field. I'll catch you on Facebook though. I do notice a lot of people are starting to respond on Facebook. Add me there as a friend. I'm happy to have a chat about some of the gameplay. And of course, I will see the OGs in the next time. But let me know too in the comment section. Was this Starlight Wish good for you? And was this family event actually the one that you needed to finish off some of your heroes because i know a lot of players probably aren't going to be saving up for the vip 18 skin <laughs> it's not really a vip 18 skin it's really a it's a 500 dollars skin if you don't want the mythic skin that's absolutely a-okay but i know a lot of players will be spending i know a lot of them will be trying to get the ball finished and maybe just maybe they might be able to build some of their first generation four heroes. Anyway, until next time.